بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين In the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful praise be to Allah peace be upon God about Muhammad his family his companions uh, our seminar today is going to be about the secrets of the seas the secrets of the seas you know Uh, the majority of this earth is water. So there is a big uh, story about the seas. Uh, nowadays, uh, oceanographers are discovering and exploring the secrets of the seas. There are many verses in the Holy Quran that deal with the secrets of the seas. Allah the Almighty informed us about some secrets. Today we are going to deal with some of the verses related to the secrets of the seas. First of all, we would like to uh, talk about uh, barriers between seas. Barriers between seas. Um, you know that seas, oceans, meet each other. And when you look at the point between two seas, you don't see any difference. You just see water. That's it. But with the new technology, marine technology, sophisticated instruments, oceanographers can detect barriers between seas. I am going to present to you the first, uh, two verses from the Holy Quran that deal with the barriers between seas. Allah the Almighty said in the Holy Quran, Marajal Bahrain yaltaqiyan Bainahuma barzakun la yaltaqiyan This is in Chapter Al-Rahman, verse 19-20. The corresponding meaning of these two verses is this. He released the two seas meeting side by side. Between them is a barrier. So, neither of them transgresses. The two verses stresses the barrier between two seas that prevent them from mangling with one another. Okay. These two verses are talking about barriers between two seas. Barriers between Two seas. Of course, if you look back in the history, you will not find any information about such barriers. Because as I said, when you look at the point at the point between two seas you don't see any difference between this side and this side what you see is all water but as a matter of fact there is a barrier there 
such barrier was not known at the time of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. They started to discover such barriers maybe two centuries ago, not before that. So, we would like to go through the findings of the recent science, the findings of the oceanography science, in order to uh, study the barriers, find the secret of the barriers between seas. So, water barriers between converging seas were discovered by oceanographers for the first time in 1942 A.D. Recent finding. Okay. Water barriers prevent converging seas from mingling with one another and maintain their properties separately. Okay, we'd like to explain this in more detail. Now, we have two seas. Meet each other at one point. We call it this point, we call this point a barrier or a boundary between two seas. Of course, their water mix. Their water mix. But every sea, every sea remain or restrain its properties in terms of temperature, salinity, uh, water density, oxygen solubility, their water mix, yet their properties stay separate. Stay separate. Okay, I'll give you an example for this. Here we have two seas. The Mediterranean, uh, Mediterranean Sea, okay, and the Atlantic Ocean. The, they, may, they meet each other at Gibraltar itself in Spain. Okay. Look at the water properties of every sea. Okay. Here. This is the water of the Mediterranean that meet the water of the Atlantic Ocean. It goes through the Atlantic Ocean. The Mediterranean water goes into the water of the Atlantic Ocean. However, the properties of the Mediterranean uh, See, does not, uh, do not change. Salinity, um, how much? 36.5%. Salinity. Temperature, 11.5 degrees. While the Atlantic Ocean water is, the temperature is, 10 degrees. Okay? And the salinity is 
Merci. Ok. I said that their water mix, but their properties remain the same. They don't change. Every sea keeps its properties. So the function of the barrier between them is to prevent prevent any change in the properties of their water. It, work, it uh, works like maybe a filter. The water goes from the sea into the sea, but the water does not carry the properties of the sea that it's coming from. And once the water enters the other sea, it acquires the properties of the other sea. Okay? This phenomenon occurs despite the fact that there are uh, the tide of the sea. The tides of the sea. The turbines, okay, the strong waves, and we are not talking about one year, or two years, or one thousand years, we are talking about thousands and th hundreds, thousands of years, maybe millions of years, since the formation of the seas and oceans. Every sea retains its water properties, its property, uh, its properties for this long period. Glory be to Okay? So, the Quran is telling us that Maraj al-Bahraini yal-Katiya baynahuma barzakun la yabdiya he released the two seas, meeting between them is a barrier, so neither of them transgresses. Everyone retains its properties and does not transgresses, transgress the other. Okay, this is one phenomenon taking place, a place in the sea. Okay. Of course, this uh, picture is coming from this book, Marine Geology, by Tunin, page 43. Okay, another secret of the sea. Barriers between seas and rivers. The first secret was barriers between seas. Now we are going to talk about barriers between seas and rivers. Let's see what Allah the Almighty said about this. Allah said in the Holy Quran, وَهُوَ الَّذِي مَرَجَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ هَذَا عَدْهٌ فُرَاتٌ وَهَذَا مِلْحٌ أُجَاجٌ وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخًا وَحِجْرًا مَحْجُورًا This is in chapter of Furqan, verse number 53. The corresponding meaning of this verse is this. And it is he who has released the two seas, one fresh and sweet, and one salty and bitter. And he placed between them a barrier and prohibiting Partition. Prohibiting partition. This is from the Holy Quran, chapter 25, verse 53. <laughs>